the common theme in Hillary's life is adventure, and like it's continuing on. And I have lived in Boston for like 18 years. I forgot about that adventure until the last two days. I've been having a wedding adventure. I could say wedding nightmare, but I miss the wedding adventure. It's all Plenty of food, help yourself, five minutes. All right, we're rolling. gathered here in this beautiful setting with Hillary and John and here you are as a community of people who care for them and about their relationship who love them a community of family and friends we've come to, to witness their marriage and let's be honest we've come to have a party with them <laughs> and they've got they've gone to extraordinary lengths to make sure that you feel welcome and that this is a wonderful experience for all of us to celebrate with them not just their love for each other but the love that brings them here and the love that's shared in this community marriage is a gift and it is given so that a husband and wife 
might know mutual care and companionship, help and comfort in prosperity and adversity. Therefore, it shouldn't be entered into lightly or unadvisedly, but rather reverently considering the purposes for which it's intended. So Hillary and John, I encourage you to remember <laughs> that it's chilly, getting chilly out here. <laughs> sure. Just speak a little faster, right? I'll be okay. I'll be okay. <laughs> I, I love this 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 phrase. It's from the it's from uh, Paul, the St. Paul, who was an avowed bachelor. So it's always interesting when we read this at a wedding. But he, he was right about this. He said, "Love is patient and kind. It's not jealous or arrogant or rude or boastful. It's not self-insistent. It doesn't rejoice in what's wrong, but rather it." rejoices in what's right and of all the things in the universe that there are to be glad for and there's plenty the one thing that lasts forever the one thing that matters the most is love so I ask you now John will you have Hillary as your wife to live together in marriage will you love her comfort her honor and keep her in sickness and in health and forsaking all others remain faithful to her as long as you both shall live if so say I will I will <laughs> <laughs> with gusto. Thank yes. you. Yes. <laughs> Hillary, will you have John as your husband to live together in marriage, to love and comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, remain faithful to him as long as you both shall live? I will. So, Cassidy and Caden, this is a new family that's coming together, and I ask you, do you promise to support your dad and Hillary in their new and growing relationship of marriage? If so, say, we will. We will. <laughs> And John and Hillary, do you promise to welcome Caden and Cassidy into your family to uphold them with your love? We will. And do you promise to support Cassidy's chocolate habit? We do. We will. We will. And will you take Caden out for fancy steak dinners at least twice a year? We will. Yes, we will. Yes, we will. You know, I would have said twice a week if you'd have. <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying. And friends and family. If you're able, would you stand in support of John and Hillary as I ask you, do you promise them your trust and love, your affection? Do you promise, as you're doing right now, <laughs> to stand with them and not between them, to support them with your friendship, with your prayers? If so, say, we will. We will. You may be seated, or if you want to maybe warm up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Well, the great prophet... Johnny Cash has written. <laughs> That's not funny. That's right. John and I agree that Johnny Cash is one of the great poets of the 20th century. But uh, and you're the nearest thing to heaven. These lyrics go mostly like this: I sailed the peaceful waters of the ocean deep and blue, and held my breath and watched the sunset's golden hue. And I float above the mountain peaks and valleys wide and green, but you're the nearest thing to heaven that I've seen. I've searched for happiness long and far, but my search for love was through the day I found you because you're the nearest thing to heaven. Yes, you are. I've watched silver raindrops fall to the earth to, the cool, to cool the day. I've watched the rainbow at twilight when clouds had blown away. I love the pretty flowers, but they can't buy the worth because you're the nearest thing to heaven on this earth. I've searched for happiness so long and far, but my search for love was through the day I found you. Because Johnny, or John, if you will, <laughs> has discovered you're the nearest thing to heaven. Mm -hmm. Yes, you are. Emily? Emily? <laughs> Come on up to the microphone. So I'm going to read, If You Want to Marry Me, by Shel Silverstein. If you want to marry me, here's what you'll have to do. You must learn how to make a perfect chicken dumpling stew. And you must sew my holy socks and soothe my troubled mind and develop the knack for scratching my back. And while I rest, or and keep my shoes spotlessly shined. And while I rest, you must rake up the leaves. And when it is hailing and snowing, you must shovel the walk and be still when I talk. And hey, where are you going? <laughs> Flowers. Mm -hmm. And if you'll turn and face one another, joining hands. John, if you'll repeat after me. I, John, take you, Hillary. I, John, take you, Hillary. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or poorer. 
in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, to love and cherish, as long as we both shall live, as long as we both shall live. Hillary, if you'll repeat after me, just say to John. I, Hillary, take you, John. I, Hillary, take you, John. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. <laughs> For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In uh -huh. sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. Uh -huh. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. Alright, can you give me the link? <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Normally there's a 45 minute homily <laughs> at this point. <laughs> But we'll just move yeah. it along. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> Lord, bless these rings. Let us, John and Hillary, wear them and give them to one another. All of us here might be reminded of those sacred promises that we've made and the redemptive, redemptive, redemptive and enduring power of, of love. Hmm. Amen. That's, that's mine. Yeah. Yeah. As you place the ring on her finger, repeat after me. Hillary, I give you this ring. Hillary, I give you this ring. In token and pledge. In token and pledge. Of our constant faith. Of our constant faith. And abiding love. And abiding love. John, I give you this ring. Yes. <laughs> John, I give you this ring. John, I give you this ring. Okay, hold on. <laughs> in token it. and pledge. In token and pledge. Of our constant faith. Of our constant faith. And our abiding love. And our abiding love. With joint hands. Oh. <laughs> well, John and Hillary have have exchanged their vows. They've publicly declared their love. They've exchanged rings. They've listened and spoken, which they've been doing for a while now. Mm -hmm. And they've affirmed that this relationship into which they've entered is a relationship of grace and goodness and joy and challenges and lateness and on timeness. <laughs> <laughs> and that it's right and that it's good and that it's true. Hillary and John, be generous in praise and be conservative with criticism. Slow to anger and quick to forgive, fast to laugh. Be open with each other and always err on the side of kindness without so much concern for being right. And above all other things, be truly good to each other. It's my great pleasure to introduce to you our newlywed couple, Mr. and Mrs. John and Hillary Sabre. Will you join me in congratulating them? Can we kiss them? Oh, and the bride and groom a kiss. <laughs>
seen John and Victoria together, I've seen them a lot this weekend, but before that, it's clear the love that exists between them, and it's so wonderful to see. But we are here because we are so grateful, you know, to be included in this happy day that we've been waiting and waiting. And waiting. And waiting. And waiting. <laughs> We really want to wish you the best of luck and you two are perfect together and we are so happy to have Cassidy and Kate as part of the family as well and um, congratulations. Thank you. 